our primary source of heat and energy, particularly in industry. Oil is found in only a few hills and valleys throughout the world. Innovation happens when something you had in mind, like an idea or a dream, becomes reality. And this is happening at a pace which is unprecedented today. Little wheels for fun or big wheels for work. And innovation can happen step by step, but I think it really makes a difference when it's step changing and really disruptive. Flows through wires to the factory far away. Innovation is actually being able to solve um, problems that society is facing. The energy industry really fascinates me in the sense that it provides a backbone to society that we sometimes tend to take for granted. There's a new reality. It's a massive focus on energy. People need food, clean water and energy. And without energy, you can't have one or two others. Conditions are changing. We have to change. We are changing today already. And we have to adapt. Those that do successfully innovate and adapt will be the winners. The energy ecosystem as we know it is evolving and fast. While this transition is not without challenges, innovative technologies can enable the best outcomes. Demand for energy has grown significantly because the population is, is growing and of course economies are developing. So I think technology can really help us uh, move forward in the energy transition. And it's things like the industrial Internet of Things, it's things like uh, artificial intelligence, allowing for potentially autonomous operations in the future. But it's people that will help us get to it. Because technology, without being implemented, without being used by people, without being developed by people, has no use. Uh, most of my students are really eager to get out and make a difference and they are really optimistic about what can, what can be done. Some of the challenges for technology are about how we can integrate that very diverse um, combination of energy sources. And technology providers, oil and gas producers, regulators and governments have all got a part to play in the energy transition. Today we see a much more closer collaboration, alliances uh, being established, and uh, I think that is a new way of looking at innovation in the energy market. And so in a situation where we face, as we are today, with lower oil prices, projected to be probably that way more so in the future than not, the winners will be the technology leaders. As the world demands more energy, it also demands it be produced and delivered in new ways. Through collaboration and embracing new technology, we can help improve efficiencies and ultimately run the world without consuming the Earth.